G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. Here I am in the shed being filmed on my vintage late 60s, early 70s Concord NEI 17 1 inch black and white Viticon tube camera. Here I am beside my brand new workbench that I've been putting together, well, it's put together, but put into place and um, everything around it put into arranged and put into its appropriate positions yeah it's been a lot of work getting this shed all sorted out once again but anyway looking forward to doing my projects at better convenience of having tools around me handy and being able to easily work on stuff without having to work on the floor or work on stools and stuff Anyway, getting back to the point. Yeah, I thought I'd do a test, another test video on my old camera as um, I've cleaned the one-inch Viticon tube. It was it was um, a bit dusty, and so the um, in the other videos there's a, there was a lot of like speckles of dirt spots and stuff. But anyhow, now it's clean as a whistle. I've um, yeah. I've, I actually quite like this camera. It's um, it's it's got external beam and focus and target adjustments, so I and also back focus adjustments, so I can easily adjust the camera to suit any environment, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I've just um, calibrated this camera to do this particular video as well, which you know just quite a bit of back focus adjustments, a bit of beam current adjustment for the bit lower light scene that's shooting, so yeah. Anyhow, as you can see this is um this is my monitor television set displaying what what's being filmed right now. And um yeah I've got external microphone hooked into me little preamp housed in an old Sony Betamax you know beta movie cam battery enclosure. Now, excuse the um, occasional video noise. Um, there must be a dry connection somewhere in this camera. I don't know exactly where but yeah that's the only drawback of having this camera at the moment. Apart from that, the images are absolutely beautiful. Nice, crisp, black and white images. As the um, sun is sh starting to come out a bit more, I might take the f-stop to a higher setting, so there's no over-blooming on the picture. So yeah, now the highlights look a lot better now. And the grayscales look a little bit more uniform. So, hmm. there's not really much else to say. Anyway, this is pretty much a test video. This is Troy from the Toys Visual Arts Channel, signing out.